because they know that Max will be on the attack. It's only a short lap here, and as you can see, Russell and Hamilton, Verstappen and Perez already making their way around Pico de Pato, turn 10. As we say that, uh, the straggle... It's, you, you could do with the heat, uh, there's no doubt about it, but it's pretty level, isn't it, across the top six? But they've widened the grid spots today because three yep. drivers run. It's lights out and away we go. They weren't held very long at the start. Russell gets away very cleanly though and he's already got Lewis Hamilton behind him with Sergio Perez tied down the inside with Lando Norris. Mercedes and they could take the speed through the first few corners. Daniel Ricciardo makes contact there with Kevin Magnussen and there's a second contact and they're both out of the race. Ricciardo. I don't think it, was, it certainly wasn't a sudden move from Magnussen. Magnussen went inside to cover the line but Ricardo just couldn't slow his car down enough, uh, is how it looked to me. But uh, of course, you know, McLaren in this massive fight with Alpine, it had been behind, so they absolutely didn't give any time up. And Lando Norris having to take to the grass then to very carefully and well uh, driven in terms of not connecting with Sergio Perez then. And now he's got the Ferraris on his tail. And of course they remain on his tail in the safety car train. So uh, it all looked pretty good, didn't it? They made it through turns one. Progress, Sonoda right at the back of the field, as you can see. Of course, it's very early in the race, but you only lose about 11 seconds if you pit under the safety car because the pack's obviously going much more slowly. Uh, but we're not really far enough into the race, are we? Well, we're not far enough into the race. I don't know whether that's a sheepish look from Daniel, and that's really gutting for uh, Kevin Magnussen as well. Uh, it's left to Mick Schumacher now to try and score some points for Haas. Mick actually currently P10, so up a couple of places. So uh, a great opening lap from Mick Schumacher in the other Haas. Good as well for Sebastian Vettel up to P8. And make no mistake about it, that Aston Martin... Yes, did, that it was an issue, but maybe yeah. not. Yeah. OK, well, anyway, there's nothing you can do is it? unless they can twiddle some buttons on the steering wheel and come up with an amazing fade away and rock up at the back of the crocodile on and let your tyres go cold as well. You really want to catch the back of the pack just as they're restarting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 15th, and I suppose from your perspective, at least they avoided each other on the first lap, so it was a good start, yes? Yeah, so far so good, but looks like they're uh, one behind the other again for this restart. Uh, but I'm confident uh, they'll, they'll continue to avoid each other. Hamilton and the Red Bull of Verstappen make contact here in Interlagos. Verstappen's got big damage to his wing and has Lewis Hamilton got a puncture. Hamilton's moving all over the place, wasn't he? Really struggling to keep the car straight. So uh, that was the kind of thing I was expecting. Thought he might have got a puncture, uh, but no, he's carrying on. He left me no I'm fronting that. Yeah, we are boxing, Max. Box. Well, we'll have it with both of uh, those incidents which have been noted by race control. That's the FIA race control and our race control here today, Karun Chandok. Yeah, thanks, Rofty. Will Joseph came on the radio to Lando Norris saying, everything looks good from my side. Now, this is what happened. Verstappen's ahead going into turn one. Hamilton now ahead going into there. Who's at fault? Let's just see it again. I think... Max. Nothing wrong with his Mercedes on this occasion, past Mick Schumacher on the previous lap, now past Pierre Gasly on this lap, and he's up in the sixth. Don't forget, he started tenth, didn't he, uh, last year for the Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton uh, went on to win the race. A uh, long way to go. Gating Norris and Leclerc. So, Verstappen was in front as he turned left. Uh, from what we can see, it doesn't look massive on TV pictures. Uh, pace does look good, though. You're Oh, it's your front axle against his or her rear axle, uh, uh, and then the layout, the corner. Then, and, and do you keep your? Have, is your car under control? Were you given racing room? Were you taking liberty? It's running in third place, Lando Norris fourth, and Sebastian Vettel currently in fifth place. With Lewis Hamilton right behind him, Verstappen and Leclerc currently 17th and 18th after having to make their pit stops after Verstappen made contact with Hamilton. Put that gap. Here comes Lewis Hamilton on Sebastian Vettel once again. And maybe Vettel being helped picking up a slipstream behind Lando Norris, who I think started to struggle. Cut on that one. Uh, that's uh, Esteban Ocon and uh, Lance Stroll. But that's uh, how you let somebody, uh, that's how yeah. you get through side by side through turn two. I think Max definitely ahead into turn one, dropping down the hill. And on the pit wall, saying to George Russell, uh, can you give us a little bit more space up front? You've been given a five-second time penalty for the collision at turn one. And where did they expect me to go? 
he, he just closed the door on me. But it uh, doesn't matter. 17th, and shall we have another look, Martin? Right, so we're in front. Now we're alongside, but we're quite clearly alongside. And we tried to take the kerb in, 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 on board that car. Um, to 11th place, and Stroll uh, slips further away from the points. Lap 16 here. Uh, this Sao Paulo Grand Prix, full of incidents so far. If you're Four, wasn't it? And then we didn't get the second safety car. There Here goes go. Sebastian Vettel down the inside on Lando Norris. Sebastian Vettel has seen that move pulled off a few times in this race and he's done it himself a few times in the past. And he's now up into the... Lovely place to do that. He's nowhere near any back markers. Science has pitted and uh, he is, he's able to really drive that car smoothly. Made his F1 debut here, didn't he, for Force India in 2017. Look at the itself out, but science slots back in then. Oh, and he's trying to go around the outside here of Alex Albon, trying to find that free air by pulling off the overtake, and he does. Carlos Sainz up into 11th place. Let's go to race control. Karun Chandok. In case you're wondering why the guy extra problem we had there with it, we keep talking about this. Got to do something about tear off. There was a time I remember having like a little sort of glove box thing uh, uh, where you had to put your rip-offs, your tear-offs in your own car was the Velcro. Set the fastest lap in three of the last four Grand Prix is George Russell setting some pace out in front now over two seconds clear of Sergio Perez and wanting to go long. Yeah lovely clear information there from George and uh, he's able to sort of drive any which way he likes at the moment. Ted. The word uh, the word from Mercedes that Hamilton's car is still okay. Nothing uh, wrong now. They actually had a look at all the data. Uh, Alpha Tauri ready for the other car. But Crofty, wasn't it just the only soft tyre that's a compound tyre? This Ferrari is reborn. He is breathing new life into it. And the Scarlet Machine is red hot out on the track. Eight now for Carlos Sainz, making up more and more. Yeah, 36 points, the difference going into this race. And currently, Mercedes making big inroads into that. If not, uh, let's just do the maths. Yeah, if not at the moment, overtaking. Uh, it's into dropping down the hill where he tried to get past Lewis Hamilton. They made contact. Hamilton uh, went off the track. Verstappen had massive damage to his front wing. And that's pretty much been the end of his competitiveness in terms of the just ahead of him. The crew did their best to get Perez in and out ahead of Bottas didn't quite work out for No, him. that's hurt him a lot, hasn't it? He'll have the pace, but if he's going to think of undercutting George Russell, so Mercedes will be watching this corner by... As you can see, about to cross the start-finish line, as into the pits comes Norris and Bottas for their first change of tyres. You've got the inside line going back out onto the track again. George Russell uh, safely into this race ahead of Sergio Perez, but now he's Russell now on the mediums, and we'll see the comparison. Uh, Mercedes will be uh, fascinated by the data uh, between Russell and Hamilton in terms of sector times. And as we now turn our attention uh, to the final podium place as it stands currently, and Sebastian Vettel hasn't pitted yet, and uh, we'll do so now. Uh, Sergio Perez was probably going to get him anyway. Seems like a good time for the Aston Martin to pit. It's been a very strong... Vettel comes Joe Guan Yu, and he's got Esteban Ocon right on his tail as through Ferradura, the right-hand horseshoe, uh, they go. Undercut seems quite powerful here. Very much so. Valtteri Bottas enters the first corner and he's ahead with Sebastian Vettel. Close attendance uh, behind Pierre Gasly. We'll be looking for a very nice exit out of the curve of the soul and a bit of DRS maybe down that red Aposta. But as you can see, no idea where Bill's mother's uh, place is in Sao Paulo, Martin. But looking out of our commentary box straight ahead, where the rain came from a couple of days ago, that's starting to get very murky. He's got a very good chance of getting to the end on these tyres then, doesn't it? Yeah. Are they just going for the one-stopper with Lewis Hamilton, whilst others might have to stop for a second time? Once again, not the quickest pit stop uh, we'll see this afternoon, or have seen. Uh, Hamilton top three uh, as it stands. Here's Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez's teammate, of course. And there is the Williams of Alex Albon. And that was a lot more clean for 